What's up guys, Kevin here, back again with another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the Fear of God Athletics apparel collection, more specifically the pants. Uh, personally, the reason why I'm talking about just the pants today is that I thought the pants were the highlight of the collection. I wasn't a big fan of the t-shirts. Um, I also wasn't a big fan of the hoodie in terms of like the fit or the look of it. I thought the pants were really the standout items of the collection. So I have three of the pants right here. I've tried them on and I'm ready to give my opinion on them. So something to mention for all the Fear of God apparel items, they come in this plastic uh, bag as well as it comes with a resealable sort of uh, plastic Velcro. So let's start off with one of the highlight items from the collection which is the brushed suede sweatpants. So the suede fleece sweatpants are one of the highlight items that were shown off on the collection. Very, very interesting pair of sweatpants where it has that golden three stripes on the side, all tonal, as well as the Adidas Fear of God sort of tag on the inside. The material of this feels very interesting as well, where it is clearly a fleece, but it was brushed in a way where it almost feels like a micro suede. So just for measurement and sizing purposes, I am five foot eight, I am about 170 pounds. Uh, I got a size small. So for the size chart, a lot of these felt and looked like they were gonna fit massive as the model was around 6'2 and he was wearing a medium. Uh, so I thought that was kind of crazy. So keep that in mind when I show the on body. And another thing is that the clothes, they have a very, very thick sort of drawstring as well as kind of a thicker than normal waistband, if you guys can see that. Um, there is some tonal that Fear of God stitching right over here, that sort of panel that they usually do. Um, the cuffs are sort of an elasticated scuba cuff. So it's not that classic sort of ribbed cuff. It's that really, really tight fitting scuba cuff. I know that they've been really, really liking that cuff and I believe it's gonna start appearing in a lot of essentials pieces as well. Comes with two front pockets, uh, very, very soft front pockets as the micro suede sort of fleece material is lined on there as well. No back pockets, and this is priced at $280. Next up is one of the more expensive pants of the collection. This is the relaxed pants. So this is the relaxed trouser. So as the name can sort of give you a clue, uh, the relaxed trouser is supposed to be a very, very oversized, big pants sort of vibe. Um, the Drawstrings are the same sort of really thick rope drawstrings with the finished tips. All the pants have that sort of same sort of bar branding where it doesn't say fear of God, but it's just a black bar. One of the things that I like about this pant a lot is that it has the bungee cord at the bottom. So although it is quite large, it does have a bungee cord that allows you to adjust the fit and it does go quite big and quite narrow and tightened down. Uh, so you can really do adjustments to the fit exactly how you would like them to. The inner lining of the relaxed pant is of that same sort of brushed fleece material. So it will keep you warm uh, throughout all seasons. Another thing that this pant has that the other one doesn't is that Adidas Fear of God logo right here. It is printed on as well as there's this soft touch finish to it. They said that it is a suede finish. I'm not exactly sure if that means that it's the same suede process that goes into the track pant that I showed off initially. So another thing to keep in mind is that the inner pocket for this one is a mesh inner pocket. The exterior is of just a polyester knit. Um, so there is no details about water repellency. I don't believe this is a water repellent pair of pants. This is just seems like one of those warm-up pair of pants. Uh, they did a sort of warm-up pant when they were at Nike as well. So last but not least is the most affordable pair of pants of the collection, which is the heavy knit sweatpants. 
So this starts at $200. So this is definitely more of that budget pair of pants. The same black bar, like I mentioned on the side, it has that Adidas logo, same suede finish. This is of a 465 GSM, so grams per square meter. So it's quite a thick sort of fleece material. Same sort of thick uh, bungee style rope uh, waist toggles, I guess I should say. It has a total three stripes on both sides and has that same sort of bungee finish on the cuff, very, very tight. And the inner lining of this one is the same as the relaxed trouser where it has a mesh inner lining. So let me talk about my opinions of all three of these pants. So first talking about which pair of pants I actually like the most. Interestingly enough, I really like the heavy fleece sweatpants. They are very, very thick, and I think that helps with sort of the shape of the pants. I really liked how the models wore the suede track pants, but for some reason, I think it could either be my size or it could be something like that, but it just doesn't fit right and doesn't look right on my body. I think the proportions just looked off on my body but on the heavy fleece pants, I think they look perfect. Um, I really, really like these and it really does help that these are the cheapest of the collection. I felt like the price tag of 200 was relatively fair in terms of the quality that you are getting for at least the heavy fleece. For the other two pants, I can't exactly say the same. The relaxed trouser is at $300 and I can't in good conscience recommend the relaxed trouser just because I, I do really like it, but for 300, I really have to take a triple double take, really. I like the adjustability of the relaxed trouser and I think if, if I were to, you know, like regardless of price, I would pick up the relaxed trouser. But with price included, there's no way I can pay $300 for a pair of essentially polyester warm-up pants. For the best bang and with all the money included, I would pick up this. The suede track pants, really I was a bit disappointed. This was the item that I was really, really looking forward to. And this was the item that I thought I was going to be keeping. It could be that the size that I got, maybe I should size up to get that more flowy and sort of like billowing shape, uh, but a size small just didn't work for me and the material of the suede fleece just didn't feel all that premium to me. I did like the feeling, but for $280, I wasn't really that big of a fan. I know that Jerry was teased wearing a cream white version with a blue three stripes on the side. I thought that looks cool, but it just doesn't I think that just this model in general just doesn't fit right with me. Another thing that maybe I could see myself wearing if they change this, maybe if they made this suede fleece material a bit thicker, because it does feel sort of thin and I do understand that it is a track pant sort of material, but if they were to double layer it to give it a little bit more heft, I think it would help the silhouette of this pair of pants. Because in terms of thickness, this is the thickest. This is on second, and then this is probably last in terms of material, thickness, and silhouette. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the pants. I usually wear a size 31 to 32 in terms of my waist. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, please do watch my footwear review of footwear sort of overview of all of the pairs that dropped with collection one and like let me know what you guys think if you guys like this sort of content please do like and subscribe i do a lot of footwear and apparel stuff as well as some other niche sort of podcast stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys next time peace